You are perhaps familiar with the history of the island of Timor, and if you're not, I suggest you watch my video from there. You might think the situation in Timor was horrible, but at least after decades of suffering, it got resolved and is now in the past, so we don't have to feel guilty about not doing anything. Well, welcome to the island of Papua. It's one of the largest islands in the world and home of hundreds of different tribes, split in two by the Dutch and the British empires. The British half later became a part of Australia before becoming an independent country, Papua New Guinea, or PNG for short. When the Netherlands granted independence to Indonesia, they didn't think Papua should be a part of the newly formed country, because they recognized this island had nothing in common with Indonesia. But after some political pressure, a small-scale invasion, and staged elections, West Papua switched hands to Indonesia, and just as with East Timor, entered a period of oppression. But where's the situation in Timor got resolved? The atrocities here still continue today. The Morning Star, the flag of West Papua, is illegal here. They've banned songs about freedom, and many times in the past when demonstrations have been staged, they have been met by machine gun fire from the Indonesian military. What makes the whole situation even trickier is the sheer size of the island and its impenetrable terrain. There are estimates of 1,000 languages being spoken between the tribes that live here. Furthermore, the island is home to dozens of tribes that have never seen an Indonesian, let alone a Westerner. This island, together with the rainforest of South America, are the last places on Earth where such uncontacted tribes still dwell. Papua truly contains some of the last uncharted territory anywhere on the planet. And some dark secrets too. Cannibalism used to be widespread here, and the last documented cases are uncomfortably recent. There are rumors of cannibalism still being practiced, and as we still don't know what's going on in most parts of the island, I'm not going to doubt it. Traditions die hard, and I've been told it's going to be dangerous, real dangerous. Finally, I can't believe I made it to Papua. The time is now 10.30 and I didn't sleep a moment on the plane and I'm exhausted I wish to see a bit of Jayapura as well but right now sleep is my priority it feels weird to be here because I've been traveling around in Indonesia and I know I'm still in Indonesia but the ethnicity of the people is different the culture is different, everything is different so it feels like I come to a new country mountains, impenetrable jungle. There's no road basically between the, the large towns, airplanes or boats, the only way to move from one place to another. It's cool to be here. When I woke up, it was already dark, but I was eager to see what Jayapura would be like. Yang mata memandang 
So, what are my first impressions? Quite relaxed. Seems like a different country and it probably should be. And uh, yeah, it's cool. It has this like Caribbean sort of feel to it, like reggae style. I don't know. And I realized this is the first time I'm staying at the hotel since Flores. And it was quite cool for a while. But now I've managed to get free accommodation for tomorrow and for the time being. So no longer hotels here in Jayapura and I also might have free accommodation if I go up to the mountains. I don't know yet, we'll see how it goes. It is quite expensive up there because they have to fly in all the food and also the flights there are quite expensive and also yeah, you have to take a flight there because there are no roads. I was told there is also another way to get up there which would be hiking and it will take a bit over one month which sounds like a cool idea but uh, also not gonna do it. I ordered some food 
as you may have seen. Looks amazing, some sort of like omelette stuff. And uh, I also have some sort of a pancake. So I'll enjoy my food, I'll go to sleep, and uh, tomorrow I'll see what Jai put off us in the daylight. Oh, one more thing. I bought some of these fruits. I mean, these green round ones comes with what this one. I don't know why. I tried to ask them what they were because I've heard that they're like a local drug of some sort. But they do sell them everywhere, and uh, I mean, everyone can buy them, and even old people buy them and chew them. I have no idea if you're supposed to eat this as well. When I bought this, it came with a bag of white powder. I don't know, man. If I'm dead this time tomorrow, you know what killed me. I tried to ask for the name of these things. No one speaks English. I got a few names in Indonesian. Two different ones that I heard repeated. And um, tried to look them up on a search engine when I was using a computer and I didn't find anything at all so I have, I have no idea what it is someone has said it's a drug the locals say yes yes eat eat good good in Indonesian I'm not gonna sniff the powder though it's no. quite hard hmm. and there's some stuff inside it Might be either spider eggs, 